Joined now by uh, Mildenhall captain Lewis Blackbird uh, on the eve of a new season. Last year was something, a bit of a journey into the unexpected for you because you weren't sure how it was going to be coming back to the sport. But this season, with a bit of stability behind you. That's right, yeah. Last season was, um, like I said to everybody, it's a bit of a dream come true. Um, started off at number seven, went through to the team and, um, you know, uh, ended up pretty good on pretty good form at the end of the year. Um, coming into this year, um, my expectations are a bit higher for myself. Um, I want to be sort of pushing for the number one plate in the team. Um, been given the captaincy badge, which is great. Um, so, yeah, got quite a big job to do and I look forward to it. It must be said that last year you didn't really have any pressure on your shoulders. Coming in on a three-point average, uh, nobody really knew what to expect. And then to go out and, and really enjoy yourself and, and score plenty of points as well. A bit more pressure on you though this season? Yeah, slightly more pressure. Um, I thrive on pre pressure a little bit. When I see people around me that are doing really well, you know, it makes me want to get out there and do it myself. So, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm great for the challenge. I, I'd accept the captaincy badge a million times over. I'm, there's a few things that I want to do with the guys this year um, that I've learnt last year from Jack and from James as well. So I want to forward that on to these boys this year, get a bit of love in the team and, um, and yeah, should be good. One piece of silverware last year. Uh, how do you go up from that? Do you step up to, to aiming for the double instantly? Oh, definitely. We've got unfinished business there, you know. We should have had the double there. Um, but... You know, I'm, I feel good this year. I think the boys that we've got a reserve are awesome. Little Josh has been absolutely flying. Um, I've been practicing with him a bit. Danny Halsey, he's not doing his spell of falling off at the minute like he did at the start of the year. So he's uh, he's back on it and we're having a good laugh together. So that's good. Obviously Cameron scoring big points in the Premier League. And um, Joe on his little trip away to Australia. I've, I've heard good, nothing but good things from him. So... Um, so yeah, and also Nathan Stoneman, he's he's an up and coming rider as well as um, as well as uh, Stefan Nielsen. So I look forward to it. I think we've got a good team, and um, I think it's going to be, you know, both we'll do the double this year. I'm quite confident on that. A brief mention of last season. Uh... To claim a trophy, great news because Mildenhall rose like a phoenix from the ashes. The club didn't even exist uh, basically a year beforehand. Um, but then to just miss out at the time, obviously devastated. But looking back, you must have uh, been happy with the progress in the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I, I, it's a brilliant season. Um, looking back on it now, um, and especially being captain, like I say, we've got... We, we lost the points on that meeting um, away at Scunthorpe and that's what cost us the title. So as a captain this year, I want to get all the boys sort of firing up and say, you know, every race, you know, we're scoring points. We're not, however bad the situation we're in, we're going to go out there, we're going to give it 110% and, and get the points and I think that would make the difference. Um, well, it would have certainly done last year and if we do get in that situation again, then we can pull a 28-point lead back. So, um, you know, we could have won it. So... <laughs> Can't be bad either. Uh, we've got a, a Scunthorpe track specialist now in, yeah. in Stefan, obviously jumping ship over the winter. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, I think he's a little bit nervous to start off with, but I think, you know, he's starting to gel with us and, uh, you know, be good. We'll get him on. Talking about some of the riders then, obviously in your role as captain, uh, you've got to know these riders very well indeed. Uh, Cameron Heaps in particular, as a, a big star of the team, a lot's expected of him this year, having done so well last year. Yeah, that's. I mean, he's already started off. He's scoring double figures in Premier League already. So, um, you know, he's an Aussie wonder kid, and he's and he's doing it. Um, I think it's great for the for the rest of the team to sort of learn off him. And um, we're going to try and keep pushing Cameron to scoring the big points um, for for Ipswich and for Mildenhall. Um, but like I say, we can learn off him, and hopefully, he can learn a bit off us as well. And um, yeah, I think he's I think he's in for a really good season this year. OK, back to yourself. Um, you've had a couple of run-outs in the Premier League last season. Yeah. Looking for more of that kind of action this season? Yeah, uh, for sure. It's, it's really got to happen this year. Um, just turning 25 years old now and um, started Speedway last year. And it's a little bit late in, in life to sort of start it. But, um, you know, this year is really sort of the pinnacle for me. I need to get the Premier League... Uh, team place. Um, I need to start scoring in there for, for um, you know, for I don't know. Just need to do it for myself and for everybody, you know. Well, you've got the good knowledge as well that the, our current world champion is in his 40s, so you've got at least another 16 years to go, haven't you? Yeah, I do keep telling myself that as well. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, like I say, put a bit of pressure on myself. It's, it don't do me any harm. I'm, I'm buzzing for it. So, I just can't wait to get back out on the bike and show him what I can do now. 
Excellent. Have you done a great deal of uh, training during the winter? What have your preparations been like for the new season? Um, I've been doing. Uh, I've been doing a lot of training. Um, I've been doing a lot of riding on the 250 grass bike, practicing where I can. Um, I spent a little bit of time with Troy Batchelor over the winter, and he's been going through my equipment and my lifestyle and stuff. And I'm sort of coming to realise that before a meeting, I need to be a bit more relaxed. Um, I do, I do my own work, so I've been sort of working till late and then coming home, washing my bikes, and it's all been a rush. So I've been working hard throughout the winter to uh, on my business and stuff, and so next year so I can have a day or two off before the meeting, just get myself set for the meeting and uh, know where I am and just relaxed and, and ready for it, you know. As, uh, as captain, have you had a look at the other teams uh, this season? What, what kind of teams strike you as strong? No, I haven't looked at any team. I'm just mainly concerned on myself and our team, you know. Um, I've, I've heard that Dudley's got a fairly good team and, and Stoke, Kings Lynn, so, you know, but they're all, they all can be beaten as, you know, probably like last year, probably on paper we weren't the strongest team, but we had um, the tightest knit and that drove us to the end and that's what's going to happen this year. Uh, any rider you see as a particular major player in terms of improvement? You've mentioned a few riders, but if you had to name one, who's going to make the biggest improvement this year? I think the biggest improvement this year will be Josh Bates on, on his average. I think he's going to come into the team. I, I was riding with him the other week at Kings Lynn and he's, got, he's starting to show the signs of a, a really good class rider. So um, I also think um, Joe's going to... Well, I, I, it's, it's difficult. I think we're all going to do better than last year. Um, so... So, yeah, I think I look forward to it. A couple of very inexperienced riders at Reserve um, last season. Yourself, whilst uh, not necessarily that much more experienced because you'd had such a spell out, yeah. uh, but then Cameron Heaps obviously came in and, and bolstered the Reserve positions. Does it make it more difficult for Mildon Hall this season with two inexperienced riders at Reserve? Um, well, I think it's, it's, it's difficult, obviously. I, I think Michael wanted to keep pretty much the team that he had last year. Um, Obviously, we, because we had such a successful year, we won't be able to because of the averages that we all had. So, you know, taking a gamble on two la young lads, um, I think it's the best thing that he could have done. Uh, th these two guys, are they're, Josh has only just stepped up and he is really good. He is flying on a 500. So, um, yeah, you know, I think it'll be good. I think they'll do well. Eager now for the first meeting to take place. What's your uh, fixture list like in the early part of the season? Um, to be honest with you, I haven't massively gone over it. I know we've got a meeting on the 8th of April against Dudley. Um, I've got my mindset on that one, to be honest with you. So um, straight away from the mark, I want to get out there and score big points straight straight from the off. So um, And just basically start picking up where I left off. So, uh, so yeah. What do you need to do between now and then to be ready for that first meeting? I've pretty much got all my bikes done, thanks to my dad and a load of sponsors that I've sort of picked up throughout the winter. So everything's looking good for that. Um, I want to do a bit more practice on the 250 grass bike, obviously get out on my speedway bike and, and work as much as I can um, until a couple of days before the meeting anyway. We need the weather to play ball as well, uh, yeah, conditions far from ideal at the moment. Yeah, that's right, Yeah, shame about today. And Nathan hasn't even rode milled all yet, but um, uh, yeah, he's keen to get out, so it's a shame about today. Um, but yeah, that's speedway I suppose. I dare say there'll be more opportunities for practice uh, before that first meeting. Yeah, we've got a few, I've got a calendar at home that I've got jotted down all my fixtures um, for practice fixtures and also I think Mildon are going to have one the weekend before the meeting which will be good weather permitting. So. Excellent, well looking forward to good weather and some great racing. Yeah, Best of luck for the season. Happy days, thanks.